Hey guys, so I haven't vlogged in a while, so I thought today I would. Um, so I'm going to make Vietnamese iced coffee for the first time today. I have some coconut condensed milk from my ice cream recipe um, that I didn't use, so I'm going to use that in the coffee. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Take my mug. Okay, so to my mug, I'm going to add some of the coconut condensed milk. The recipe I looked up said half a cup, so I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to do a little bit less than half a cup because I'm having chest espresso with it. So I don't need it to be that sweet, you know what I mean? But if you were doing just um, drip coffee, do more. So I would say I did about three tablespoons, maybe a little bit more. I'm not quite sure. I brewed some espresso. You guys already know the drill. So I'm going to add that. That's going to give us the bitterness that we want to balance out the sweetness of the condensed milk. And then just some ice cubes, and that's literally it. So that's for the basic recipe. I'm also going to add cinnamon to mine. Just a dash of cinnamon. And then the most fun part is mixing it all together and getting that really light um, brown color. Yummy. Alright, we'll do a little taste test on camera. That is so good. It legit tastes like Vietnamese iced coffee and you wouldn't even know it's vegan. Wow, that's so good. Okay, so we'll take you guys along on our day and show you guys all the fun and exciting things we're going to do. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you do like this video. Alright guys, so our apartment's a mess right now because we just went camping, so we have to really clean it. However, yesterday I, like, luckily enough, went dumpster diving in our own, like, neighborhood area and someone was getting rid of these patio chairs, which we need balcony seating. Um, we had one chair that we like also kind of dumpster dive, but it was broken and just like not aesthetic at all. This one's way better. It's iron and it kind of looks like a bistro set. The only thing we need now is a table and we also got this like really cool bar stool that we can use as a planter. So I'm going to show you guys. Alright, so hopefully you can get the aesthetic, but these are the chairs. We also, they also come with cushions, but we have to like bleach them and then I was thinking of either tie dyeing them or keeping them just white and black but they're literally perfect and then we're using this bar stool as like a planter holder um, as you guys saw I like repotted these plants and they look like they're doing well I might water them a little bit more but yeah it's kind of a look alright guys I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and um, a brownie on my new patio set my view the really convenient thing is that when Derek doesn't want to hang out with me we use this as a table. Hi everyone, so we decided against going out and getting er doing errands. Um, we decided just to stay ah, just to stay inside, so now I'm making salsa for us. I've roasted it for about 20 minutes. I flipped it after 10 minutes each time. I think I'm gonna do it one more time and see how everything looks. Okay guys, so I'm gonna make another recipe as well. I am going to make um, a warm goat cheese and marinara type like dip. We have all this marinara which is just like an insane amount. You can only eat so much pasta so I thought this dip would be like a nice alternative to just pasta sauce or pizza sauce. So I originally found the recipe on Pinterest however I can't find the same one because my Pinterest app isn't loading. So I'm just going to use one I found on the internet. Anyways I don't have a lot of the ingredients but it's really just a two ingredient thing. So you just need an oven proof pan some marinara sauce and then some goat cheese. I recommend the whole log but I only have half so you make do. I'm going to put some olive oil on the bottom so it doesn't stick. You could also use cooking spray but I thought this was a little bit more Italian. Okay so I just realized that I'm supposed to freeze the cheese for 15 minutes and then unwrap it and cut it and then um, add like seasonings on it and then put it in so I'm going to freeze this for 15 minutes. In the meantime, my salsa is done roasting in the oven, so I'll show you guys. It's hot, so be careful. Alright, so we are going to let that cool before blending everything. Take the cheese out, now I'm going to slice it um, into rings to put in the dish. Kind of worked, kind of didn't. We're going to add some marinara, add the cheese on top, alright guys at this point I'm going to top it off with some salt, do some basil, 
You want to do a lot of basil because it complements all the other flavors really well. I'm going to do like a, hand, a little sprinkle of chili peppers. Some paprika just because I like the flavor. And then just a hint of garlic powder. And then finish it off with some black pepper. Alright, so the instructions say to bake it for 8 to 10 minutes, so I'm going to do that. Alright, in the meantime, I'm going to prepare the pepper stuff. Alright, so the food processor, we are going to add everything except for the tomatoes and the jalapeno. I have some pre-roasted garlic, so I'm going to add a couple of those. So for the tomato and the jalapeno, you are going to um, peel them. A raw onion to the salsa. Wish we had bread. We are going to taste test the cheese dip. Okay, have this one. Oh. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pizza sauce. Like really good pizza sauce. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Good dip. And it's a good um, different type of thing than just pasta sauce. <laughs> it's kind of like nachos. <laughs> That moisture. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is going to win the Amazing Race? I'm going to love it if the green team and Tex, Texas whatever, um, if they um, are the last two, or the last three. You're going to love it? Yeah, because they like hate each other. <laughs> it's going to make for good television. <laughs> Hi guys, it's a little bit later now. It's about 7.40, 30-ish. I am going to make um, zoodles today, which I've never actually made before. So I got the zucchini right here. I'm going to rinse it and then make ribbon strips out of it. Alright, so I'm going to peel her up. Ooh. I'm going to let these drain in a colander to release any excess water. Look out, Gordon. Here she comes. Yeah, I'm coming up. Um, Argentina or wherever he was. Yeah, you are. Thanks. Are you watching Amazing Race? Yes. Okay.
It looks so good. Yum. I already know what the meatballs taste like, so I'm going to forego that. But I just want to try the zoodles and the cheese and the marinara. Look at that texture. Like, damn. Mmm. It's so good. Granted. I do really like vegetables, so that might sway my opinion. But I think that's genuinely so good. The really nice thing about the zoodles is since they're water-based, um, water from the zucchinis when added to the marinara sauce kind of dilutes it so it's not as acidic, which is really nice and it's just a little bit more complex and flavorful. Texture is on point. I will say obviously they're a little bit more spongier and squishier than just eating, you know, like actual pasta. But like, this is awesome. I think I might eat both portions because this is just so good. So, we're going to eat this, watch The Amazing Race, that's been our obsession recently, and um, that I'm going to call it for the vlog. So if you like this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know if you guys have any other questions. Um, if not, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!